This historic building on Congress Street sat vacant for more than a century. Now it's a swanky boutique hotel with a restaurant, Bolster Stone Company. So we're back in the kitchen now with executive chef uh, Nick Verdisco. Thank you for doing this for us today. Thanks it's for a coming. a great place. I hear you've got some great recipes. What are you going to make for us? Today we're going to do a little uh, squash pappardelle with some fall um, toppings. So first we're going to jump right into your squash. Any squash will really do. And we're going to just cut this into manageable pieces right off the bat. So usually for me, that's going to be either four, six, something along those lines. These are hardy, so you're going to need a nice sharp knife. So once you got this guy broken down into manageable parts, like I said, all this inside meat we're going to scrape out and that's going to be the base of our stocks. And what we can do is go right into the pot. We're going to put this right here for us and all that can go right in. And, uh, and if you put it down, it's easier to kind of stab through the one side. That way you're not going to get stabbed yourself. And we're just going to scrape it right out of there. Well, I usually buy my squash already cut up. <laughs> a lot of people do. But again, we're showing you a way to use this whole piece. And we're just going to do a little olive oil right on the squash nice and easy and right in the oven, 350 for about 45 minutes until that gets nice and soft. And now this is gonna be the base of what our squash stock is. So think of a vegetable stock, think of a chicken stock, the same kind of um, idea is going down here. So with that stock, we're gonna add carrots. Onions are gonna go in as well and I'm just gonna cut the tips off there on both sides, tips. Top this off with cold water and bring it up to a boil for about a half hour. All right, so our squash is in the blender and now we're gonna add a little um, seasoning, basically. So we're gonna grab honey and we're gonna do about two tablespoons of that. We're gonna do maple, which I infused a little red pepper flake so it's got a little spice. And we're going to do the same thing, about two tablespoons there. And we're going to hit it with about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And that's going to go in. In our sink, and we're going to blend everything together. At this point, too, you can salt it as well. And that's up to you, as much or as little as you would like. And there we go. That's the base of your sauce. So you're gonna have your puree right here. We're gonna finish up our squash stock. And when we meet the two in the middle, we're gonna have our, basically our, our squash uh, sauce. All right. So that's the finished product there. Squash okay. popper dough with a little uh, walnut radicchio and sage. Okay. okay, we will have the recipe for you on our Facebook pages. But if you don't want to make it, come on in and you'll make it for us. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Thank you so much.